But yeah, I don't use my social media as I should. This is all like a personal conversation with a friend, a business colleague. And I'm a thespian and fashion designer. I don't feel like I have to be in your faces all the time, right? I show you my work, I'm out. I show you my work, I'm out. So I'm chilling. You feel what I mean? Yeah. So my character is extremely pretentious. She lives in her own world. And she just lives, right? And she is all about the status. She will cry in a Bentley, not me. And she went to Varsity in Boston. And she came back talking like this, but she does switch to Izu. No, I'm going to Izu. We are Sazi. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm going to And when she switches, then she talks in a very soft American accent extremely soft right nothing too overbearing or uncomfortable but it will be extremely uncomfortable for you if you don't understand character work so every character has a life so you can't be like value why the exit it wasn't me it was Gapsi and her life and she went to school in Boston and bagged this boy from a rich family who happens to be gay any IPD life. Oh, dress Duduzile. I enjoyed playing Duduzile Munyama. She is not okay. Her mental health is. She needs to be restricted and held down. And in her holding down, yo, needing a umbamba because. She lives in her own world, and when you see her, you think she's okay, she's normal. But yo! And I loosely based her on someone I know, so it made it so easy. Um, but the dark psychology of it all, I learned from the psychologist that worked with me before the show started, because I didn't know much about dark psychology, so... I sat down with two psychologists, one life coach, one psychologist, yeah, and they taught me all about dark psychology. So I started acting when I was 16. My mother was a makeup artist and I picked up a script once and it read Chissa and then I saw a character bible, right? And I, she was going in for pre-production and I saw this character bible and I saw this girl it was from tunzini.com it's my like arrow and I was like this is it she was at a photo shoot and then we were going to the production company I don't know what came over me but it must be the Holy Spirit it's okay. I want to buy lining up, ne? And in this lining up, we should buy buy audition, ne? And clock and clock and clock. Okay, but I'm a number. Mama, my thing is, I'm too sure. I got you. Tati paper, bali kambalami, this bali number. Then, nishai audition, nishai audition, nishai audition. And Mama Isabella was who was auditioning me, right? Mama Isabella takes me after i do my scene and she pulls me by the hand and she's like whose child is this Woo! my heart was pounding it was racing i thought oh did i mess up that badly and she said she is talented and that's how i got my first role <laughs> yeah no 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 so much she wants to be a fashion designer i'm so pleased fashion designing is such a great business and i feel when done right, uh, it's it's a business of necessity. Obviously, it's luxury, luxury and necessity. But which is why I have apparel, couture, and you know a whole line because people always need clothes, food, 
transportation and shelter so tell your daughter when she's further thinking about other businesses to think that way as well i have other stuff going um that no one knows about and i prefer it that way because then it's a passive income and it's of necessity so get your daughter to think that way as well there's a lot you all don't know about me which is okay as well right because there's a lot i don't know about you you killed the role in blood legacy thank you there's a production you won an award for abroad so i have a couple of inter national awards and apparently i just won another one but um i'll do a little video i also have a couple of international nominees which is beautiful it's absolutely amazing can you sing for us you actually have a radio voice you should join metro fm yo guys and i used to have such a squeaky voice you know what i think happens with voices so I realized I used to talk like this, right? Because I was trying to be sweet and demure and nice. And I found myself. And in finding myself, my true authentic self, this is the voice I was God given. So thank you. I didn't know I had a, a nice voice. You just woke me up to that. Hey loves, welcome back to Izindava Zabantu. Today we are diving into the world of Antlem Bali who recently went live and dished out some intriguing tidbits about her life, career and that unexpected voice change. Let's get into it. So Antle, our beloved actress and fashion icon, took to social media for a real life session and guess what? She's not as into social media as we thought. She told her followers she tries to engage as much as she can, but her heart lies in acting and designing. One fan couldn't help but ask about the distinct American accent in her latest role. Antler spilled the beans, saying her character was schooled in Boston. That's right, she's not just playing the role, she's living it in every word she speaks. Talking about diving deep, Antle opened up about her role as Dudu. She didn't just act, she researched. Consulting with not one but two therapists, she explored dark psychology to bring out her character. Now that's dedication. Can you believe she started acting at 16? Antler shared her journey from seeing a script to auditioning with the support of her makeup artist mom and she landed her first role just like that for those dreaming of fashion design and got some advice go for it but keep your other options open she talked about her own ventures revealing she keeps her business separate from her public persona she's smart right Here's where it gets juicy. A fan complimented her on her radio-worthy voice and Antler revealed something fascinating about her voice. She says that her voice wasn't always like this. Originally, it was more squeaky. She mentioned her voice changed over time. Now, for those that are curious about voice changes, voices change due to hormonal shifts during puberty. But for women, significant changes can also bring uh, can also can also happen due to various factors like stress, vocal training, and even just finding one's true voice as they mature. Endless transformation might be part of her personal growth or perhaps vocal training for her diverse roles. And let's not forget, Antler's not just popular at home, she's an international star now, bagging awards and recognition abroad. Isn't it fascinating how much we learned from just one live session? Antle Bali is not just an actress or a designer, she's a woman of depth, change and continuous growth. Keep shining Antle. That's all for today's video. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more updates on your favorite celebs. Until next time, keep gossiping but always with love. Thank you so much for watching and bye.